I'd like to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 12, starting at verse 46. Jesus was speaking to the people when, behold, his mother and brothers stood outside seeking to speak to him. Someone said to him, Listen, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak to you. But he replied to the man who told him this, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand, Toward his adherents, he said, Here are my mother, here are my brothers. And then he said this, verse 50, Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. You have the right to claim who you want as your mother, your father, or your sibling. Just because your parents provided the biological tools necessary to produce this physical body you live in simply because they provided the sperm and the egg and the womb that brought forth existence to your physical body does not make them your mother or your father. simply because you share similar genetics and DNA from people who came forth from the same womb as you does not make them your brother or your sister. The man or woman who is not familiar with her with abuse or doesn't recognize the evil of abuse will think you're half nuts for believing this but then he would have to call Yeshua Messiah half nuts because Jesus himself said I'll tell you who my mother is I'll tell you who my brothers and sisters are. And it has nothing to do with physical, natural blood relation. He who does the will of God. That's my mother. That's my father and my brother and my sister. Could we not say just as easily, he or she who refuses time and again to do the will of God is not my mother? He who refuses to do the will of God is not my mother or brother or sister? I think we could. Maliciously abusing you is not the will of the Heavenly Father. Slandering you, ridiculing you, exploiting you, 
physically torturing you. Sexually torturing you. Shaming you. Attacking your conscience. Putting you down to size. Dismissing your gifts. Gaslighting you. These aren't the will of the Father. That isn't the will of God. Again, Jesus said, My mother, my brothers. He's taking unto himself whom he deems as family. My mother, my father, my family meets this qualification. I don't care if, if I grew up in that house or not. I don't care if that man provided the sperm and three meals a day for me. I don't care if that woman carried me in her womb. That does not a parent make. The bottom line of the will of God, it's, uh, the word says God is love. Love, I, I really have grown to detest that word, love. I like to simplify it to this, goodwill, good intentions, wanting what's good for you, wanting what's best for you. Not wanting to harm you. Not wanting to destroy you. Not wanting to enslave you. But wanting you to be successful. Wanting you to prosper. Wanting you to discover the innate gifts and callings that reside within you. Wanting you to develop your own sovereignty. Wanting you to grow in wisdom and understanding. That's the will of God. That's the will of the Father in heaven. And that is the will of your Creator. And that's who my mother is. The women in my life who care about me somewhat. That's who my brothers and sisters are. The ones who show even a little bit of goodwill toward me. You have the legal right before God to claim who you want your parents to be and who you don't want your parents to be before God. I don't care if the state doesn't recognize this or your family doesn't recognize this so-called family or your friends don't recognize this. This is a law recognized by God. And expressed by God.